Hey, welcome back to an Appian Tip of the Week. For this week, we have a process model with many different status updates. Historically, status updates have required a few nodes that to do the update first to the process variable and then to write that process. So the best practice that we have for you today is utilizing the abang update function. This function was introduced in 21.2 and has the ability to take a record and update it on the fly. So we have the ability to utilize this functionality within one node by using the write to record type. And we can do this all in one step. Instead of just writing the process variable to the records, we're gonna put a little low code around that process variable to update the fields that we're interested in. So in this particular case, we have the process variable request that's of type ODA overdraft disposition request. We want to update the status to two and the modified on to the current time. With this new function, you can put as many of the fields you want to update as you want. So in this case, if we needed a modified by, we could also add uh, another field and then the current initiator to do that. One thing to keep in mind though is this updates and returns a copy of the request. So if you need these fields to persist later in the process model to be able to check the status, this does not do it alone. You also have to come into the outputs and take the updated record and write it back to request. Now there might be reasons why you just want to write to the database the copy and leave the original process variable alone. This is probably something you'll want to do most of the time. So there you have it, the ability to update statuses or modified buys and twos within one node within the process model. Have a good day. Thank you.